the motion or the action of this thing in the water, you know what it does? Nothing! <laughs> it doesn't, <laughs> doesn't do anything at all. It's Ned Rig. But man, when the fish is tough, does this thing catch them? And, and I, I, wanna, I wanna show you why and my theory on why this thing is so awesome. I need an assistant. Come up here and help me real quick. Just come up. Come up here. Stand right up here with me for a second. Stand right here. For this demonstration, you're going to be a bait fish. You're going to be a bait fish, OK? In any given body of water, there's different kind of forage. You've got chub, and darter, dace, um, small bluegill, small yellow perch. Everybody in the room is a f hardcore fish head or you wouldn't be here. Show of hands, how many of you guys have seen that forage, whether it's a dace or a chub or a darter or a little perch, whatever it is, scooting along the bottom and then they see something they want to eat and they kind of peck at it and then they go along and scoot along the bottom. How many people have seen forage do that? Everyone. You've seen it? Dude, I can't tell you how many times I'm in shallow, clear water and I look and I see a little yellow perch going along and just or a darter or a chub, those forage species that stay at the bottom and just kind of dart around, right? And I want you to do that. I want you to do that. Just get real low to the ground, kind of walk, and then stop, <laughs> peck at some food, and then just keep going. All right, stop. You got a little pile of food there. Peck at it. OK, now keep going. Perfect. OK, come back. That was great. You're an excellent bait fish. <laughs> All right, go sit down. Uh, <coughs> and that's, man, that's what this thing imitates perfect. I've seen it a million times naturally in the environment, and that's what this thing's going to imitate. The great thing about it, again, the motion, the action, there is no action. It's so subtle, it's so natural, it's so non-threatening that at Sturgeon Bay, when those smallmouth, those bricks, those three and four pounders, were down there late, and they didn't want to rise up. Remember, they didn't want to come up. They were so pressured. They're laying on the bottom, and they saw this thing just coming by. No rattle, no noise, no flash. Dude, they had to eat it. They had to. It was so non-threatening that they had to eat it. Um, I want to go over how, how I'm going to fish this thing real quick and tell you how easy this technique is to fish this. So on all these techniques, you're going to hear me talk about the initial fall which is really important. And um, it is too in the Ned Rig. On that initial fall, when we make our cast out there, we want to let it fall on a semi-slack line, OK? Semi-slack line, all that means is, look, look, at the, look at the bow in my line. A semi-slack line means a controlled slack line. And we want that slight bow in that line as that bait falls. And the reason we want that is because you know, again, think about this bait. It has no big action on its own. So when, we, when this bait falls, we want it to glide down naturally to the bottom. If we, let, if we made a cast and we let it fall on a tight line, right, pendulums away, very unnatural, gets away from the cover. If we make that cast and we see a little knot in there and we have total slack and we get that knot out and our cell phone rings and we look at our Snapchat account, and all that stuff. And you have Snapchat? No. OK. <laughs> Just checking. Uh, <laughs> and, then, and then we reel. That fish already bit it and spit it out, and, and it's gone. But when we, <laughs> when we let it fall on a controlled slack line, wow, I get that carpet, didn't I? You damaged my net rig. Yeah, I know. It's sticking out. It's all right. Because of the <laughs> wow, look at that. <laughs> Oh my God! I don't even have nips. Okay, uh, <laughs> but when we make that cast and let it fall on a semi-slack line, it really does glide and drift down. And a lot of bites are going to come on the initial fall, especially in clear water. Smallmouth are sight feeders, so at, at Sturgeon Bay, about half of my bites came on initial fall, and letting it fall on a semi-slack line lets that bait glide down real natural. The neat thing about that flat dog is that it's flat on the bottom, and that's going to help that bait glide a little more, OK? But then once it hits the bottom, 
man, here's all we're going to do with this bait. It's so amazingly simple. We're going to throw that thing out there. Once we let it fall in a semi-slack line, boom, hits the bottom. The line bell's out. We didn't get a bite. We're going to take our rod from like 3 o'clock, 2, 3 o'clock, and we're going to drag it real slow up to about 12 o'clock. And I'm just going to keep doing that. I'm going to keep doing that, that just kind of slow drag. I want to keep it on the bottom, making it look just like what you were doing, right? Here's that forge. He's coming along. He's stopping. He's dragging. The only time I'm going to stop that slow drag is when I And the information Bass University provides isn't your basic run-of-the-mill fishing video. This is specific information from A to Z to help you learn, get to the water, and become a better angler quickly.